Hey, what's going on? It's Mia here. Before I head out to the gym, I want to share with you something that's been going on. It's kind of interesting. So, um, uh, as you know, I've been sharing about God in the marketplace. I have been on a mission to bring God to the center of business because God is central to our lives. God is the most important relationship we'll have in this lifetime. So why do we want to leave him out of very central areas of our life? You know, work, we spend about a third of our life. If you're in business, if you're an entrepreneur, you might spend even more than a third of your life building your business. Yet we leave God out of business for the most part. Um, and it's absolutely insane because he gives us the breath of life. And he's going to decide the moment you take your last breath, which could be today, tomorrow. We don't know when. It's out of our hands. So it's insane not to have God involved in every aspect of our life, right? Well, that being said, me talking about God in the marketplace, I knew right off the bat that it would be disruptive for some people. For some people, um, you know, you embrace it, you're excited about it because you have a relationship with God uh, and you want to grow that relationship stronger. You know why you're here and that's awesome for you. But there's another group of people where it's irritating to hear somebody talking about God. It's disruptive because if your relationship with God is broken and you know that's the most central relationship to your entire existence on some level, some deep level, you know that. It's irritating when you're confronted with it, right? It just is. It's natural. I get it. And the reason I get it is because whatever someone's feeling about God, whatever someone's view of God is, I've probably been there at some point. My relationship with God has not just been a walk in the park. It's been quite the struggle, especially because I went through a lot of really tough things. And about 17 years old, I went through enough stuff, especially with my dad and my ex-stepdad, that I finally said, I don't know who this God is, but he's not watching out for me. So I'm going to take care of this myself. And I, for the next 10 years, turned from God. After an entire life of literally writing a letter to God every day, I would write in my journal to God every day. Um, I grew up reading the Bible and learning his word. I turned from him and I did not open a Bible for 10 years. I didn't acknowledge God for 10 years. I never said I didn't believe in God, but he was not part of my life. I didn't talk about him. I didn't go near people who talked about him. Um, I would never step foot in a church by any means. And if people started talking about God, I would go somewhere else. I didn't really want to hear about it. I even got married during that time and never even asked him if he believed in God. That's how far away from God I was. And I was trying to avoid at all costs um, even being confronted with God, right? So I get, I get when I come on Facebook or wherever I make a video like this and I'm talking about God, it's irritating for some people. It's confronting for some people. I completely get it. And in fact... Um, God didn't give up on me. It's pretty amazing how he literally showed up at business events, wherever it was. And I had a really profound encounter with God about five years ago. And it really, it, it's interesting because after that, I, I knew God was central to my life and, and I reconnected with God, but I still had a broken relationship with God. I didn't fully trust him. I still viewed him the way that I had experienced my father's, which is you know, I can't count on them and something bad's going to happen. And he doesn't, I didn't understand his love for me. I didn't get that stuff. So here I was walking along. Yeah, I believed in God, but my relationship was still so broken. And um, in January of this year, I was brought to a discipleship program through our church here in San Diego called the Rock Church. And um, I literally went into this program with my arms crossed, kicking and screaming because I knew God wanted me there. I mean, if, if I told you the story of how I ended up there, it was clear I was supposed to be there um, and, and learn, go deeper into learning his word, being around, you know, being in fellowship with people, all of this. But a uh, part of me didn't want to be there. And I was still questioning a lot of stuff. Like, I don't even know if I believe this. Yes, I know there's God, but what really happened with Jesus and what is my personal relation with Jesus? Like, I was just like, I don't know about any of this. And I signed up for this program, not, not like, oh, yay, let's learn about God for a year. It wasn't like that for me. It was kind of like, I know I'm supposed to be here, but I had a lot of resistance. I had a lot of pain still in my relationship with God, but I signed up anyways. And one of the first trips we went on, we went on this backpacking trip away from all of humanity and craziness, no cell phones, no computers, no distractions, just us and God. And we we're studying the book of first John. And about three days into that trip, I remember I wanted off the mountain. I remember seeing almost like a crossroads because my pride was still so big that I was sitting on the mountain and we were reading the Bible and I was listening to people's stories. And my brain 
it, you know, my own IQ was getting in the way of everything. I was just analyzing everything. I don't know about this and I don't know about this and I don't know if I want to believe this. And you know what? Maybe I just want to leave this mountain and believe that I can do it all by myself because I've mostly done it all by myself anyways. And I, I just, I don't know. My pride was so big. I actually didn't know if I was ever going to be fully a believer because I had so much resistance in my head. And I didn't know, I didn't know how to cross that line. Only God can turn our hearts. Only God, by the grace of God, are we able to fully accept uh, the gift of Jesus. And are we able to fully accept and embrace the word of God and be able to read that word and understand it and not question every little thing about it. That is the grace of God. Because our brains are such that we have to figure everything out. We have to be in control. It, like faith and fully trusting in God doesn't even make sense. It is by grace that God grants that to us. And I know for me, I was sitting on the mountaintop and I like I saw like a split in the road. I was like, I, I might be too far gone. My pride is so big. I don't even know if I want to fully believe. I don't know. I, I kind of, I don't know. I was, I was in battle on this mountaintop, like in battle. My flesh was in battle with god you know and i don't even know what all happened but over the next three days like i was praying about it and i was like god you're gonna have to intervene somehow because my mind is too far in the way i'm i don't i'm not believing half of this like i don't i don't get it you're gonna have to help me and um and he did <laughs> all i know is by the grace of god god came in and turned my heart he turned my heart to where yeah, I still think logically and all these things, but not one ounce of me questions his love for us. Not one ounce of me questions the walk that Jesus had and wh wh what Jesus stood for, the gift that Jesus was, and um, in the death of Jesus and what that means for setting us free and being able to fully receive that and have a relationship with Jesus, have a relationship with God. It just absolutely has transformed my life and there is no turning back it's like something happened inside of me and it's not by my doing at all it was all God it was all God but I know that point that point where I almost, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to cross that line so when I'm sitting in front of an atheist or I'm sitting in front of someone who's turned from God and they're so mad at God I get it I totally get it. And I totally get when someone's coming at me. Like the other day, someone was telling me, well, let me tell you all the reasons why, you know, the Bible doesn't even apply nowadays. It's 2,000 years old. And, and this person who wrote this in the Bible shouldn't even have been qualified. And da, 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 he was going on and on. He was basically saying, he told me, he said, Christians, anyone that believes in Jesus um, is ignorant. You're just ignorant. You don't get it. You don't know all the facts. And I just sat there listening to him. And I thought, oh, my goodness, that was me. You know, his IQ, his brain, his brilliance was so in the way of him being able to surrender and be humble. Pride was so in the way of being able to say, there are things I don't understand, but I trust you, God, and I accept you, and I take you into my heart. And that's when he can start to do great things through us. But that is the grace of God. Not everybody is going to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. And, you know, some of the atheists that I've been had the opportunity to sit in front of and and hear from them and, and encourage them in any way that I can. I, I also get that God already knows who's going to choose him and who isn't. And not everybody is. And I know that. And I also know that I could have been one of the ones who didn't. Because I know sitting on that mountaintop, there was a point where I wasn't sure which way I was going to go. And I knew that if I turned back the other way, it, it was done. I wasn't going to go back to God. I was going to live my life in this world like that's all there is. And... By the grace of God, he turned my heart. And now I am humbled. There's no pride left in me thinking I don't need God. Thinking I need to, that I could do better than God. Thinking that God's doing it wrong. That's gone out of me. I have a different existence. I'm able to live for God now. I could never live for God before when I didn't even trust God. When when I had all these thoughts and, and um, analyzing everything about God, I couldn't. But he turned my heart, and I know he can turn anyone's heart. It's by the grace of God, though. It's not anything I can do to turn someone's heart. It's not something they can do to turn their own heart. God is pursuing you. If you're watching this video, he's seeking you out. If you're reading my post, he's seeking you out. He's speaking to you through these different things. He's stirring that up in you. And I'm going to tell you that by the grace of God, you can step over. You can believe. You can become a complete believer. It is not ignorance. It is not you letting go of all the facts. 
It's a turn in your heart. It's something that no one can explain to you until you experience it. And once you get it, there is no going back. It is the most beautiful, awesome thing. And you can be sold out for God. And you can actually live your life for why you're here to live it. Rather than for some vain existence that is temporary and it's going to end. And I hope this brings you hope. If it made a difference, please share the video. Leave me a comment below. And please know that if you're a believer and you love God and you love Jesus and you're following him, please know that God can turn anyone's heart, but you can't. It's out of your control. All you can do is love people. Just keep loving people. Don't go into battle and trying to fight people on stupid analytical things. Like that's all the brain. This You need to bypass the brain and get to the heart. God is not about the brain. God is an experience. You need to experience that relationship with him. And when people are at battle and they're arguing about it, it makes no difference. Just go love people. And by the grace of God, God will turn people's hearts. And he already knows who's going to choose him and who isn't. And I'm just grateful every day that that God turned my heart so I could choose him and I get to live that life now. And I just pray that if you're watching this, that you do too. And that those that you love get to experience that as well, because there's nothing else like it. So leave me a comment below, hit the share button, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.